Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I also rise to support the sentiments and the concerns as raised by the Honorable Junet Mohammed. Honorable Speaker, it is very sad that this house has actually been turned as a punching bag and people demonize everything about this house. That where we pass laws that pertain to the common mind, Honorable Speaker, and that is exactly what we do, which we actually do very, very well every day, and sometimes sitting up to late into the night, Honorable Speaker, uh, the media and even the members of the clergy do not raise concerns. They do not talk about it. But on the issue that touches on the executive, you hear them say that, you know, we haven't had anybody, you know, speak about it in the National Assembly or in the floor of the House, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we implore on the members of the public and even the members of the clergy to be watching proceedings of this House. There is no matter of national importance that hasn't passed through this floor, Honorable Speaker, and that hasn't been spoken to, Honorable Speaker. But it is so sad that even on matters that touch on the public concerns, the issues that are so direct to the public people, like today, Honorable Speaker, we are now facing, we are faced with femicide, Honorable Speaker, where women are being killed and the young girls are being killed all over. You have not had the church speak about it, Honorable Speaker. You've not had the clergy utter a single word about it, Honorable Speaker. I mean, really. But if it was an issue, Honorable Speaker, that touches on the members of the parliament. This actually, this house has even created a platform where we are raising concerns about the femicide. We expect the members of the clergy, Honorable Speaker, who are leaders also, to give us accolades and appreciate us and say, at least this house is doing one, two, three on matters that are, you know, pertain, you know, matters that are affecting, are affecting the, the, the women of this country, Honorable Speaker. But they are not saying, Honorable Speaker, that. I want to invite the members of the clergy in particular, Honorable Speaker, to the good book that they teach. Because as a good student of the good book, as a person that went through the Sunday school, right from, uh, yeah, from age three, Honorable Speaker, to date, I have read the good book in the book of Romans chapter 13, that there is no leadership on earth that has not been placed by God. I mean, which God is that that you tell us to preach when you can't respect the God that has placed the leadership, Honorable Speaker? That we only matter, Honorable Speaker, sometimes, when we go to the church, if you ask any member of the parliament, Honorable Speaker, their boots or their offices are full of cards, Honorable Speaker, invitation cards for fundraising, Honorable Speaker. It is shocking. At one point, Honorable Speaker, I attended one church along Nairobi, Honorable Speaker, somewhere here with the former deputy president, who is now the president. And Honorable Speaker, they denied members or the leadership, I mean, the members of parliament to speak. But immediately we finished, they gave us a bill of six million, a need of six million, Honorable Speaker. Uh, is our importance, you know, very important to the extent of our contributions, Honorable Speaker, honestly. And then when such contributions are made, Honorable Speaker, even upon their request, then they go out there to play with the public gallery and say we do not need uh, members, uh, you know, or leadership to contribute, Honorable Speaker. This is sad. And like Honorable Majority Leader said the other day, even the members of the clergy that say they want to return the funds, an Honorable Majority Leader will speak after me. They have not actualized, they have not refunded the funds, Honorable Speaker. To date, they have not said, okay, fine, this is the check that you say, we said, this is the check, take it back, build, because we'll build. We want to confine ourselves, Honorable Speaker, we want to confine ourselves, Honorable Speaker, to the good book again, in the book of Haggai, chapter 1, Honorable Speaker, verse 7, that we go up to the mountain and pick the trees so that you can build the church of God. You will not gag me from contributing in building the house of God because you don't like my political views, Honorable Speaker. I mean, this thing of making politicians demonize. We are demonized, Honorable Speaker, in the banks. When you go to open a bank account, you are referred as a pep, politically exposed person, that you've got to declare that. When, if you are doing somewhere in business, they say, you know, you're a politician, you'll need to declare interest. When you go for any, if you lose your seat and you go for an interview, then you are told, you know, you are a political exposed person, you need to be. What is, what kind, in any case, Honorable Speaker, we should actually be uh, applauded. A person leading a county or a constituency with 100,000 voters, Honorable Speaker, that is an experienced manager that needs to be a manager and a CEO of Equity Bank, Honorable Speaker, which only has got an employee portfolio of 2,000 people, Honorable Speaker, or 3,000. 
But what happens? You lose your seat or you are out of politics or you appear like you've been politically inclined to some place which is again within the law under Article 37, the rights of association. You are demonized. You are insulted. You go out there, people believe that you, you, you are taking their money. What is with this obsession of a person thinking that they are, oh, somebody is poor because somebody else is rich? Why can't you just, I mean, why can't you just respect other people's rights like you want the others to, be, to respect your honorable speaker? What we are saying, honorable speaker, that we must learn to embrace divergent views. You have your view as a member of the clergy. I have my view. You have your view as a person from the media or the media for the state. I have my view. The divergent of views is not wrong, and that makes it democracy. We all can't think the same way. Stop demonizing members of parliament and particularly members of the National Assembly. And when you have a challenge, you want to rush to us. Anytime you have a challenge, members of parliament. When I pass through the streets, mwishimiwa, mwishimiwa. When I go everywhere, mwishimiwa. When I go to mwishimiwa. But when I come, when, I, when people go there somewhere in the media, honorable speaker, they insult us, honorable speaker. So please. Let's give other members a Yeah, as I conclude, I want to conclude, honorable speaker, and say people, people should respect this house, honorable speaker. Thank you very much. You'll be, yeah, let me give. Uh, okay. I'll come to you. Mike. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.